So, The Velvet Hammer. This is my love song to the great Pat Martino. Um, there are a lot of elements in this song harmonically that are very much, I wouldn't say I stole them, but just from listening to his music, I want to say off the top that he is one of the great modern contemporary composers, not just for guitar music, but of music. And I hope that people will explore him as a composer as much as a guitarist. But anyway, there are a couple things in here that just having spent time, not just transcribing his solos, but transcribing his uh, compositions, um, that this just sort of came to me as sounds that he would put together. You know, the way he voice led harmony was, was pretty amazing. But, you know, just this um, intro. <laughs> Just the use of those fourths. And this sound here, F sharp, minor seven, flat six, uh, is very guitar. It's like actually kind of something I would also get from John Abercrombie, maybe. Even. But in particular, this chord is really important to uh, the, the composition. You know, Pat did that record East, which was a lot of drones, and this chord is... I guess I call it in the tune E major 7 sharp 11, but the voicing that I'm actually playing is a B major 7, B, D sharp, and A sharp with the open E and B. So that it sort of has that sound of a, an Indian drone. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of this instrument that uh, is in that music. And, and maybe sometimes later in the song at the end, the performance with that ringing out and in live performance it sometimes turns into another section of improv to just get into that drone because the the, the song is complex there are a lot of chords harmonically it's complex there's a lot going on and then to end on that vamp of you know that's just open it gives you some sense of someone's like taking a lap in the pool and then taking a deep having a chance at the end of the pool to take a deep breath but anyway those are the sort of the sounds now in the middle section it has that e minor major i'm um, sorry e altered to f minor seven and it's kind of a long section it's in 12 8 feel so the the, t the time feel changes from the swing of the first half and then to that uh Afro-Cuban 6-8 feel. It's a feel. The, the quarter note is still the same. But anyway, this is also very indicative, for instance, of that Pat Martino composition, Turnpike, where there's this big, long section on an E altered. Now, really, you know, E altered to F minor 7, it's all really F melodic minor sound. So I can just... I, there are other things I can do in there, but that's one thing. It's just kind of think of this whole section as F melodic minor or I could play over this as if it's a symmetrical diminished so I you know going to F minor right over you know so I do have that option um, you know sometimes I like to play over it that way but I think the bigger picture of it is that's also sort of a more modal section <laughs> Um, so anyway, that's so, just some of the sounds and flavors that are in this tune. Um, you know, obviously this band with Harvey S., um, Neil Smith, and Mickey Hayama, they eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was just a joy to play this with them. But again, this is really my my sentiments and my love and my dedication to Pat Martino. So hopefully as you're listening, you'll think about some of those sounds about that, you know, uh, B major seven over E and that sort of being a meditative, contemplative 
section of the song, or sometimes I even voice it like a, you know, it's it's a, to evoke a mood and a, and a and a feeling, and then you know that that modal section. But I do hope you will check out Pat as not just as a one of the greatest guitarists that ever lived, but also one of the great composers of contemporary music. Subscribe for more. The video will be up next week. Peace out. Thank you.